The Netherlands once used to control Belgium, but sadly the English removed Belgium from us in a treaty where the Netherlands and Belgium themselves weren't even invited. And it still makes me sad to this day that we don't control Belgium and Luxembourg anymore because we were pretty good friends, aside from all the religious murdering and stuff. Anyways, we want to get Belgium back and that's what we're going to do in this video. We're continuing our campaign with the 11 provinces. You can watch that video on my channel, but I'll also link it as a pin in the top right. But anyways, let's jump right in. That's how good we're almost 60 years so we will probably die soon then this guy will take over and hopefully we can make sure that our um or this guy's son gets all the traits or that we continue as uh, juliana because she has all the traits as well and then we can actually form uh, or strengthen the bloodline which gives us these huge bonuses but which would be like huge to get uh, this early into the game but Anyways, yeah. Um, one downside to all of this, though, is the fact that we are surrounded by major kingdoms. So we'll have to start building tall first before we can actually do something. We can create another man at arms. Um, we'll do uh, some onagers. And let's go get another great son. We'll call them all willem or at least the first one and we can actually increase the court grandeur now and locks the this year territory council task that's a nice one actually yeah i kind of want to get at least six then yeah let's do it like this it does cost us a lot of money but it is worth it oh let's go we have discovered mustering grounds which gives us even more men and arms that's nice i will increase all of this we hopefully have enough soon to go to war with these guys and let's go we now have all the stewardship traits this one actually gives us plague resistance that's very nice and even more stewardship yeah then we'll switch over to the learning trait but we'll go for Ooh, small health boost is nice but we also kind of want to continue the game as our uh, era soon so let's go for the development sponsor another person she's very competent at her craft as well let's go the guy made us a chest so where can I put that over here? The Dutch chest gives us more renown and piety. Crusade participation. Yeah, I kind of don't really care about the crusades for now. I am expected to pledge military support or donate gold. I don't even have enough gold. So let's just let's just pledge and I'll appoint someone. Yeah, let's select her. Let's go. Did we get another one? Places of beavers. Building construction time reduction. Okay, 15%. That's quite nice. We'll actually have to join uh, or we'll actually have to contrib contribute, I believe for the kingdom of jerusalem crusade for jerusalem yeah we actually need to go all the way over there let's just send our armies and just invade some port and then go back oh we get a cat that's very nice for fending off um rats and stuff your wife has died of old age age yeah let's just marry her perfect and she can manage the domain as well have we arrived yet oh we are going there okay yeah, moin. We get a truce. That's nice with the raiders. Like, if there's no one here, we can do actually do some stuff. But when they're like <laughs> 35k armies arrive, then we are pretty fucked. Oh, let's go. She got all trades as well, but she's not our heir, is she? Nope. Oh, she's my... Wait, what? She's my great-granddaughter. What? <laughs> We are so old, man. What the fuck? Or we're not even old. It's just the fact that they get children so early. Get another son. Let's go. We get another court item. We get an Adrania Stepresty. Gives us even more renown. Powerful vessel tax contribution. That's nice as well. You know, it doesn't change anything right now. We're actually going to lose this. What the fuck? Yeah. But I did contribute. So we basically did what we need to. We are actually first in terms of war contribution. But we'll not get anything. Yep. He has abandoned us. So be it. Well, at least we did our uh, duties. Our wife falls pregnant. What? Okay. Get another daughter. <laughs> this is... Literally unbelievable. Yeah, we definitely need bigger armies because we, I don't know, we can't even defeat like small raider parties and stuff. But we can imprison her. Let's actually do that so we get more of our realm back. She will probably rise up. Yep, but it's only her. That's fine. Go, we won that war. So now we should, oh no, we don't have the title succession yet. Or we cannot revoke, right? Nope, we cannot do that. Okay, that was a little bit stupid. <laughs> I mean, we could, like, can we modify Vessel Contract, maybe? Yeah, maybe if we uh, release her for a weak hook and demand conversion. Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll modify our contract. Let's go. We are now in the medieval area era. Yeah, or early medieval. Oh, so our hair did get a 
grandson or did get it we did get a son but he only got the genius trait okay let's go we're out of that so now we can declare war on italy for the duchy of Jullik. we should have enough if we ask our allies to join yeah let's go to war with italy and we'll continue down the scholar path of uh, the learning uh, thing although we do actually want to get some health boost now because we're doing pretty well as our uh, guy here yeah, I kind of want to continue that. What happens if we if we disinherit that guy, then she becomes an heir? Yeah, we'll probably have to disinherit our grandson when we continue with Willem. So then she gets the uh, the thing. But we actually need... Wait, whoa. Didn't we have someone with all the traits there? Yeah, she has it. Okay. Yeah, we need to disinherit two people then. It does cost us some uh, renown, but it is worth it. Let's go. We finally have plenary assembly. So now we can go for limited crown authority. Can we actually revoke her title now then? Yeah, but she will not accept. We'll have to find someone who will. And yes, this guy. Go. And then we can get even more if we want. Okay, let's have a look. So what are we going to do now? Ledger is being um, done automatically. Now we got these two. We don't really need those. Yeah, I think that getting absolute crown authority is is very useful because we can actually designate our um, our heir, our successor. So we can choose who it is. Let's go. We won the war against these guys for Julie. Why is my wife in prison? What the fuck? Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should definitely be able to go to war with Germany now because they're probably at war with someone else. Seeing as their armies are really low, so let's go for Zupton. Oh, we get the infirm trait, so we will probably die anytime soon now. Maybe if we can get some health perks really quick, and maybe if we can get some health perks, we can survive a little bit longer. Then we'll need a yeah, we'll need to have three perks to actually get that because this is only for illness uh, retraction. We already have an illness, and we are dying. Okay, <laughs> uh, at least we'll continue as this guy then yep let's make sure that everyone is married to the right person before we die oh let's go we get another lifestyle point by doing that right perk yes let's go yeah i mean we still we definitely need to get that one because this is reduced chance reduced chance and plague resistance so that doesn't actually give us a boost oh let's go but we do get another one of these Chance of reinforcing cognitive traits. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, and we have died indeed. So we will continue as King Willem II. We'll continue our domain focus stuff. Did he actually do intrigue as well? He did. Okay, that's interesting. March per stress level, dread gain. Okay, okay. Did we actually lose a title? What the fuck? He became king? How did he become king with only two counties? What the fuck? Ah, oh, then I actually have to go to war with him as well. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so strange. <laughs> I'm actually not going to disinherit anyone of this guy because our son here, Prince Fulbert, we will actually call Willem as well. Um, should be able to. Uh, yeah, we married him to her because she has these two traits, so we can hopefully get a son with uh, both uh, with all three of those traits. And the reason I don't really want to disinherit this guy is because he has Ra uh, Bossy, which actually helps with the stewardship focus. I believe we are his. Uh, ward yep we have Midas touch so that would be perfect and then we also have a um, core tutor yeah so we'll probably get a very good air after this guy or this guy will probably get very good education which is more useful than the um than the strength and bloodline decision right now so that's what we'll do first and we are for some reason trying to kill this guy um let's not do that we are swaying him and we're trying to kill him what <laughs> oh we see he's an artifact norse edda gives more raid speed more martial and more learning lifestyle experience you can at first i thought that that was just passive experience gain but it's only when you focus on uh, on that lifestyle that you get it oh she has all the traits as well yeah we're much more likely to get all the traits now with our children and let's go we won the war against germany so we now have zipton in our realm as well can we go to war with King Baudouin for his claims we'll break the alliance which reduces our fame attacked an ally what if we try to murder him? That will definitely not work. And whose prison is he? Oh, this guy. Okay. I mean, at some point, we'll probably inherit those titles again. So I'm not really worried about that. Just focus on getting um, more titles of Lotharinga. We'll also need to go to war with Frankia eventually. But yeah, that's still definitely too far away right now. Oh, we already have 20 development in, uh, in here. We probably cannot even get more than i guess let's just make sure that we have all our titles all our counties so we'll revoke all these guys titles yep all of brabant will be mine let's go our son gained thrifty clerk only what the fuck then i kind of want to disinherit him <laughs> to make sure that we continue with her because she has 
all three traits that we need. Yeah, let's disinherit this guy. So she is now my new heir. She's 35. She might even... Oh no, I see they are of the same age. Yeah. Can we disinherit her as well? Yeah, I'll actually have to do that. Because I'll not be able to get this one before we die. No, 38 years. Yeah. Did we already get a cadet branch? What the... F oh, that's because we got another king. Yeah. Because the other king is independent. I mean, that should give us more um, more possibilities for renown. So that's good. Oh my god, there's a major plague going on down there. What the frick? We got another... We got two plagues going on at the same time. What the frick? And I'm sick. Um, do not do more than necessary. Excellent work. Nice. Branch of the tree of life. Who are you? If you fulfill requirements, what are the requirements then? You are of the Orolo no What the? <laughs> so that's pretty useless. And I'm, I've become malnourished, yeah. So I will die pretty soon. We'll con yeah, we'll continue with her. That's perfect. And we have died, but we are now a queen. We are Queen Juliana Willemsoon. And we should be able to do the uh, strength of bloodline. Yeah, let's go. Gives us a small health boost and these Cognodol trade bonuses. We have a bright future ahead of us. And we are known as the blood mother. Okay. Uh, we can develop capital because we're diligent. Yep, let's do that. But we are chased, which is very annoying. You gain mother of many children, which gives us more opinion. Okay. This is actually the first time that I've played as a female in this game. So some of this stuff is still new to me. Let's go. That was a pretty easy war. And we should now have the title as well. Oh, and we got a book. King Baudouin Medical Manuscript. Gives us... Oh, a medium health boost. That's pretty decent. We can create the Duchy of Gelre now. And that, oh, we will definitely do that. So we have the Kingdom of the Eleven Provinces. The Kingdom of Frisia. The Duchy of Holland. The Duchy of Gelre. The County of West Friesland. The Zeeland and... Holland. I mean the count or the kingdom of West Frisia because we formed it without these um, with these counties they are being left out in the uh, in the kingdom here. Um, wait, can we? No, we cannot make that our de jure. There are no valid targets. Court control level needs to be at least six. We could eventually do that then. Um, let's have a look at our courts. Where the frick can I do that? So we're now level five. Yeah, let's make sure that we are level six then. Then we gain development in realm capital as well when we're scored level seven. Ooh, we gain renown at level nine. Let's just do the maximum amount because those bonuses are pretty nice. We will lose some money if we do it when we do that, but we'll make that back eventually. We can negotiate alliances with Prim Prince Willem III. Let's not do that yet because we might want to revoke his titles. If we declare war on these guys, we, oh, we still do not have enough. I mean, they do, their armies are split in half. If we defeat them one by one, we might be able to do that with a little bit more money. We'll end his regency. Beautiful. Let's go for tax women. It's actually a nice touch that they changed it for when you are a woman. Because when you are a man, it's called the tax man. And now it's tax woman. It's a nice touch. Oh, these raiders are so annoying. Yeah, so as Queen Juliana, we not only gotta keep the realm together, but we'll also wanna expand into Belgium. Those are both very um, difficult tasks to do. We lose a trade consumption, let's freaking go. Okay, now we can actually try to have a game. <laughs> we are being raiding again. Oh, a friend dies. Let's go, we'll continue promoting cultures in these Belgium provinces. Or counties, I should actually say. Let's go. Our court grandeur is now level six, so we should be able to do the... Oh, no, we can't. Cannot perform the stars. There are no valid. Okay. So they are totally being left out in the kingdom here. Like in the kingdom of the... Uh, can we... Oh, let's go. This guy lost his allies. That is perfect. That is actually perfect. Um, we will definitely have to continue claiming his land. Let's go to war to him for the county of Brabant. And we will actually join Prince Baudouin's feast. Let's go. We gained a train pregnant again. Hopefully this time it will be a man. Because we got too many. <laughs> got way too many uh, women here. Like that will actually split up our realm as well. Because I believe that if we only got women. Yeah, they do inherit titles then. We get another daughter. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so we now have Matilde, Annalise, Juliana, Doctor and Aleid. Okay, this is... <laughs> the fuck all of brabant will be mine um wait what's the duchy of brabant oh that also has these counties yeah let's do that i'm actually going to sect our whole um the whole country 
for the money and hopefully for the prisoners as well. Oh, let's go. We got a victory. Easy peasy. And we got some more this. Okay, let's go. So now we have the county of Brabant as well. Uh, we do have a truce. So we'll want to do the foreign affairs to hopefully shorten that. Yeah, integrate title. Oh, we can actually integrate title. We'll be assigned integrate title. The target title will become de jure part of your primary title. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Oh, wow. I totally forgot that that's an option. It does take a very long time. Um, so we might do the foreign affairs first. Yeah, because getting the uh, the Belgium counties is more important. Frankia does not have allies, but they still have 4K in army. So that's still undoable for us. Wait, someone converted to Catarism. Was that in my realm? This guy, Fransonian and Catarist. Can I revoke his titles then? You have a claim on a title. You can, you can do that without being viewed as it. Let's freaking go then. Let's do that. Even my bishop converted to Catarism. What? Ooh, we could actually... Mm. I don't really want to get Danish um, stuff. I basically just want to get what we have claims on. I do have a claim on the whole county of Brabant, but yeah, we'll need to wait until the truce is over. Let's just all have them marry like high dynasties. We get another daughter. <laughs> this is unbelievable. She only, she's only able to freaking fake daughters. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to have them marry matrilineal. Let's have them marry everyone who, yeah, all these like high dynasty ones. So the Carling is famous. And they will be become even more famous as they are literally the head of France. Wait, are they fighting someone? They are fighting in a war and they're losing against this guy who wants control. Ooh, okay. Let's start claiming um, Bruges then. Wait, do we have... Oh, yeah, okay. We have Catrism over here. It could be very annoying. Oh, we are early medieval. Yeah, um, we wanted hereditary rule. That's a good one. Um, and this one for absolute crown authority is a must as well. I think that that's actually more important. Let's do that one first, yeah. And we might want to reform our religion to have like uh, not male dominated because we'll continue playing as a female for quite a long time. I mean, it will stop over here probably, yeah. Oh my God, look at these traits. Robust, handsome, and genius. I definitely, yeah, okay. We, we need to continue as her and then become this guy. Willem Adelheid zone. Let's go on a hunt if we can do that. We don't have the money. We're 44 and we still don't have the perks that I really want to have yet. Let's go. So we now have a claim on Bruges. And we, oh wow, we have pretty strong allies. We have the Duke of Luxembourg, Burgundy, and Orleans. I don't know if it's worth it to go to war with them for only a county. We might want to claim a bit more and hopefully get a claim on the duchy instead yeah let's try to do that okay we'll definitely need to do some stress relieving oh some stress relieving activities but we have a available dynasty point now i kind of want to go for the blood ones again chance of inheriting bad cognitive traits is reduced and new and new bad cognitive traits is reduced as well yeah let's get this one and then for the next levels we'll probably go for maybe kin because i do believe that getting the health bonus here and the um better education is also very useful very impactful oh we got a dangerous faction forming what the fuck we'll develop capital oh and we got a rebel faction rising up again where are they oh they're down here and that was pretty easy okay so lot ringa still got their alliance with alba so that's not doable france is fighting a lot of wars at the moment but they also have a pretty big army and germany has that as well okay so we basically get a focus on our own for now and continue building tall oh i totally forgot to do a feast or anything uh, my god let's go we get another stewardship lifestyle point and we can actually spend it on administrator pretty nice i believe there are also yeah there are now three houses the house of nassau zwolle got created okay one of my vessels did that wait do we actually gain stuff when we visit Aachen I believe we did we did we gain like lifestyle points my brother Willem has died wait who gained the uh the titles then for the kingdom of Frisia Duke Willem the fourth right fourth it's not sixth I believe I don't really care about the inheritable trade too much anymore. So I'm just going to marry people to like people of high dynasty and make it so that they are born into our dynasty just to kind of like destroy their, their dynasty or not really destroy, but make sure that they have less living members and so make them less powerful. He is still allied to Elba, which is very annoying. Germany still has a big army and good alliances as well. And let's actually change our capital to be in Amsterdam now. We'll move around capital over there. We actually got pensive, which is a good one for getting a stewardship. Yeah, so we will become Adelaide Juliana Dochter, who got pretty bad education and 
I mean, decent trades. But when we die, we will continue as Duke Willem the fourth, and he actually got freaking good trades and also pensive, which hopefully allows him to get at least four star in stewardship. But I did have to change his education because he was doing learning education up until the year of nine. So I don't know if that will that will probably impact his um, stewardship. Against the trade content, that's his first trade. That's decent. Ooh, we lost strong war horse, or we lost war horse and we gained strong war horse. Let's go. That gave us more levies. That's actually pretty nice. I didn't even know that you could get a horse in this game. Ooh, born into the house of Carlinger. <gasps> oh, he wants to marry Mark Cher, the king of West Francia. Oh, who declared war? The northern conquest of the Duchy of Gelre, Jarl Sovrik, with an army of 8,000, almost 9,000. Yeah, we'll definitely have to call our allies now. Duke Siegbert of Luxembourg, Prince Maurice of West Francia, and Queen Usephine of Burgundy. Please help me. <laughs> Because this is pretty helpless if we have to do this by ourselves with only 3,000. Okay, let's go. They do help us. We'll find the Nords the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Never back to your frozen hellscape of homes. Come. We will fight you until death. Okay, they have cowered away. Let me use the gold that I gained to boost our armies. Let's go. So they have arrived. My ally of Luxembourg has arrived as well. Francis coming to join where's queen isafreen they're coming as well they do have a big army but they don't have a strong army so we might be able to defeat them with just this let's have a look yeah we should be able to do that come on please come on let's go was that a win yes let's freaking go okay it's not enough though we still need to do one more oh let's go that was enough thank the freaking lord that we were able to do that and we do have enough prestige now so i actually want to reform the dutch culture and i want to get the i could have done this way earlier by the way although the seafarers one gives a lot of bonuses to trade ports which are really really nice and that allows us to upgrade our armies if we have level four trade ports the seafarers one yeah let's do that because that's also realistic and kind of um, a Dutch uh, Dutch thing as well. Can I revoke more people's titles? I actually can do that. Yeah, let's revoke all our titles. That gives us way more. I have a claim so we can revoke it without anything happening. Let's go. Now we're making double the money. <laughs> the crusade for the United Kingdom of Ram Romanga. Where is Romanga? Oh, that's in Italy. Okay. Wait, let's have a look at the war. So it's... The defenders have way less, yeah, so then we'll join the war if we are easily able to do that. My warriors are ready to fight, and we will appoint a beneficiary. Someone that has a lot of children, Princess Machteld. Yeah, she has a pretty decent chance to, uh, to survive. Select her. And we'll actually join the war, because if we are able to win that, then that will expand our dynasty. And even though it's not Dutch claims, we can basically just make her independent and continue our own, uh, our own thing. So when will it start? It launches in five months. Okay, so we still have some time. Let's go. The crusade has launched. Call the war from this guy. If we decline, we'll lose a lot of fame. Yeah, then we'll join that war as well. Against the tyranny of Maurice. But I will not set my armies there. Yeah, we definitely need war contribution if we we'll want to get something out of this war. Am I leading this army? What the fuck? No. <laughs> Please don't do that. Oh, we're not even fighting against... Wait, what? It's Italy now. Let's go. We promoted culture. So now all our counties are Dutch. And we'll continue developing Amsterdam until our development is at 20. Let's go. We get the eager red of our trade. Did we actually get over second in war contribution? Let's go. War is over. Let's freaking go. Okay, so Pope Lucius got the Kingdom of Romania. Gains a Crusader King levels legend seed. We gained 700 gold. That's freaking awesome. Then we gained some pity piety we gained some more prestige and some favor changes our beneficiary was level two was ranked level two okay so did she gain a title she did actually gain a title in uh, italy she gained the county of teramo okay that's not too bad so be it can even ask our guy for more gold yeah i'm just going to do that i don't really care for the piety too much we'll eventually want to create the protestant fade actually um but we don't want to do that just yet especially not with this character because we're not really focusing on that too much we're just focusing on building tall his skill is legendary and renowned throughout the world yeah definitely make a book for me then oh Prince Maurus actually lost his war. Okay. We now have an alliance with the ruler of Renaud of Bourbon because he's now a ruler. Okay. And he is married to... Oh, okay. That's interesting. He's married to our heir, um, but matrilineal. So we will gain the title of... Um, we could be able to gain the title of Bourbon um, down the line as uh, our second heir. Okay. So will it create the title of Frisia again? It will. That's kind of annoying. Um, 
Um, the only real way we can get rid of that is by getting partition because then no new laws will be created. But then we need hereditary rule. That will take us 24 years. We might be able to do that if we now focus on getting like better health stuff, maybe. Let's do that after we get the uh, architect trait. Let's go. We got a dynasty banner and it became a masterwork. And or no, our, our banner became a masterwork and we got a illustrious book, which gives 40% learning lifestyle experience. What the fuck? Oh, that's amazing because that's literally the best. It's almost the best education possible, but we get that as a book. So that means that we are literally able to kind of do two like lifestyles in one um, lifetime, basically. Get the Dutch book. Wait, what's it called? The Dutch book about books. The book about books. Okay. That's actually perfect because I literally just said that we need um, to switch to the learning lifestyle to get all the health boost if we want to survive uh, long enough to get the hereditary rule, which we do want to do because that gives us partition and that uh, stops it um, or that stops the creation of titles. We'll actually get rid of the, the kingdom of Frisia and we'll destroy the title. So right now, when we die, the title will be created as you can see um because the uh, confederate partition literally says new titles may be created for younger realm heirs but if we do partition that it gets um removed so yeah that means that we will indeed have to focus on hereditary rule now and on um staying alive long enough oh he becomes even stronger prestige stress loss levy and prowess our uh, horsey we get another call to war I will join. Oh my god, the Loda Ringa now has this guy as his ally. They're allied to Luxembourg and to Alba now. France still has a big army in Germany as well. We're literally, yeah, we can't really do anything right now. <laughs> we will actually help our allies here this time. Until we meet again, let's go. Oh, oh he got a very... Uh, it's not a good... It's not a good education, but he does have pretty decent traits. He especially as a genius, which gives him 30% more learning uh, learning stuff. So I kind of still want to continue as allied. Yeah, let's go. We now have the architect trade. Um, do we want to continue with this one? I mean, can use the self-title decision. is pretty nice. More domain taxes. And this one gives more holding taxes and stewardship. And we are 56 with fine health. So we don't really need to uh, switch to the learning one just yet. I'm also going to make like a hell of a lot of these um, hospices to help with plague resistance as well. And let's go. We won the war. Skills legendary and renowned throughout the world. I kind of want to do that again. Her skills merely decent and her she's very competent at her craft. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of only want to do the legendary ones. Yeah, so we will actually do the book exp uh, one again. Ooh, let's go. Queen Juliana's Guide to Esoteric. That gives monthly learning lifestyle experience plus 20 as well. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but we can only assign two books, I believe. So I have to get rid of King Baudouin's medical manuscript. That does give us medium health boost. Um, yeah, and as we are not really using or doing the learning lifestyle one, we'll not equip it just yet. Oh, we gained a trade infirm. Our health is still fine, but yeah. It is kind of dangerous to live with the trade infirm while being almost 60 years old. Ooh, we gain a lucky rabbit foot. More prestige and prowess, okay. We're actually, oh no, we are not prowess. <laughs> oh, that's because of infirm, but if we don't have infirm, then we have like, okay, prowess. Let's go, we get a throne. This is more prestige, faster contribution and grandeur. And we get another dynasty point. Um, yeah, like I said, we don't really need these dudes. Those are just some extras. Let's get the, uh, let, yeah, let's get these three. Fertility and attraction opinion. It's not really useful, but this one is very useful. Better education traits. And I believe that actually allows for us to get the um, the fifth level in the education trait. Because there's one level that is not really obtainable until you, I believe, until you get that specific uh, dynasty thing or a specific le legacy thing. Ooh, we can marry her to the princess Adel Molde of Burgundy. Okay. Carlinger Milano. That's a glorious splendor. That's good. Because their children will be born in the Oranje Nassau thing in our dynasty. With our alliance, we now have 11,000 levies. That means that we should be able to defeat Germany in a war. And we should be able to defeat France in a war. Okay. Let's make sure that we have the uh, that we have a claim on the uh, Duchy of Luxembourg. Oh, this guy is this guy is pretty useless. It's actually pretty common now for a child in our dynasty to be born with all the three traits. With all three of the um, physical traits. Oh, call the war to fair. 
To the fair queen Juliana of the 11 provinces, I call to you to honor your, our alliance and join me in the war for Prince Emich's claim of the kingdom of Germany. Okay, so this guy wants, wants to have Germany for themselves. If we decline, we actually lose fame, so we don't want to do that. The chance of winning is pretty decent because these armies are pretty fair and we have almost six. Oh no, wait, that's not us. We have almost 5k ourselves, so we should be able to do that. Um, are we still... We're still... Look at this. We're still making so much money while we raise our armies. And we're getting plagues now, which is very annoying, but it is what it is. So most of their realm is part of them, yeah. Like the actual enemy we're fighting only has a few counties there. Only seven more years and then we get the seafarers trade or the seafarers tradition. Okay, please let me be able to raid their capital. That should give us a lot of money. Ooh, we get a trinket, a Dutch coin that gives stewardship lifestyle, domain taxes and stewardship for stress. Okay, it's pretty decent. So now we have at any cost. Our health is poor now. So we will actually have to switch our um, education to medicine focus. That gives us a small health boost. And now our health is fine, which is perfect. Um, and then we'll actually have to choose the... Um, wait, I have to go to the court. I'll have to switch this one. But I guess that when we do that, we'll lose the health boost. Um, yeah, we do lose a medium health boost. Let's have a look if that puts us below fine conditions here. Yeah, then we're still at poor, so we definitely need to keep that one. And let's send our armies back to deal with these raiders, because that's a little bit more important than this German war. Ooh, King Xemos courts now speaks Dutch, a most wise decision. Let's actually have a look at all the courts that speak Dutch. So our court speaks Dutch, speaks Dutch. Then this court has no language. And then all the way here, over here in Spain, they speak Dutch. So that was the guy that changed his language. Okay. Interesting. Ah, so we can actually raid over here. Okay. Oh, France now has an uh, alliance with the Kingdom of Elba again. Okay. Everyone has that. They're like protecting the rest to make sure that we don't expand. Let's go. We get our first learning lifestyle point and we'll do that. Use that on the cultural fascination. We almost have 20 development in Holland. That's huge. Is that the like most developed county then? Or are there cultures who already have the new one? No, okay, definitely not. To get even higher development, we'll probably need a new uh, innovation as well. Yeah, then we need communal government that allows us to have a maximum of 35. But yeah, we need to do the hereditary rule first. Let's go, we can get the whole Duchy of Flanders as a claim. So that means that we can go to war once we are done with this one. Oh, let's go, we finally get a faint, or we finally get an armor piece i've tried to create one for like ages we will equip that that gives us more prowess and less friendly casualties all right another lifestyle point let's do how is our health we are fine um but i am going to go for the another Tomical study, so we can eventually go for wash hands and iron constitution. So we, we literally get another cadet branch. So now we have Van Oranje Nassau, the founding house, then Brederode, Nassau Zwolle, and Nassau Atri. Where the frick is that culture? Oh, that's in Italy. So they created their own house here in Teramo. That's quite cool. I mean, yeah, this campaign is more focused about the Dutch, so I don't really care about what happens in Italy. Um, if we inherit any title that is outside of the Dutch, uh, regions uh, which are the uh, the Netherlands and Belgium and Luxembourg and a little bit of France and Germany then I will just give them independence and let them be uh, independent rulers instead because I, for the campaign it's not really it doesn't really add anything to have those counties oh another guy has learned the Dutch language the kingdom of Galicia that's in set in Spain am I stupid it's not in Spain. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's in uh, Russia. In the Copper Tree. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at how huge they became. He's a high king as well. It's not even an empire. A tribal realm. And then we got the Byzantine Empire, of course. This is all very interesting. Again, another lifestyle point. That's perfect because I believe that we are, yeah, our, our health is poor. So we'll definitely want to get the uh, brick that gives us more health. Matilda was killed by Euphemia. I thought that was a sickness for a second, but it's a person. <laughs> wait, we formed another alliance. We're now also... Wait, are we also... We're also allied to the King of Elba. How is everyone is allied to him? But now I don't know what will happen. Oh, let's go. Lotharinga lost their ally. Okay, when we are done with this war, then we should be able to go to war with Lotharinga then. Let's go. We get our iron const institution so do we now yeah okay we're fine that's nice so hopefully we will survive at least a few more years
At least eight more years we need to survive. When will this freaking war end? It's going on forever. Let's go. This should now be enough. Oh, the Jumpkins have been destroyed. Let's go. This rock constantly raiding us, so that's huge. And it's 100%. Let's go. So what did we actually gain? Became a vessel, became a vessel. I don't even know if we gained anything. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. At least we can go to war with Lotharinga now because they have a pretty small army. And look at our ally. <laughs> We're even allied to the king of Germany. That's because we just literally married out, married out everyone to like high dynasties that they probably inherited titles eventually and became uh, our allies so let's go to war let's get back the duchy of brabant or let's get the duchy of brabant because it has not yet been ours we'll need to add it i'm actually going to go for the capital straight away oh no let's not do that then call dynasty people no i want to call the King of Alba is on the same side as King Galwin in another war, okay? Then the King of Germany, um, Duke, Reinout, and uh, her. Basically everyone that we can call. Like all our alliances. Are we going to lose this? We have a smaller army, but we are actually winning. Let's go. The Sami scale, what's that? Yeah, give it to me. Oh, that was pretty useless. Let's go. We get another lifestyle point. Let's do increased development. Um, wait, this gives us another health boost as well. Yeah, let's do all of these then. And then we'll start claiming uh, Luxembourg. Oh my gosh, she gets an another... Did she really get another twin? She did. What? <laughs> oh, okay. You got the inbred trade. That's not good. Oh, let's go. We got a new tradition. But it will probably... Yeah, I don't think that we can immediately reform again, right? There will probably be a cooldown. Yeah, we need to wait 50 years to do that again. Okay, let's go. But that does mean that we can now increase all our levy size because we have i believe we have um trade port level four yeah if we have a trade port that is level four we gain size of size of men at arms regiments plus one but let's actually make sure that we get that even more if possible i believe it doesn't count if someone is the holder of a um if someone else holds it holds it so we could do this and it says it says there as well the holder of this building which would be this guy so we won't get it but in Haarlem, we are actually the holder of the building so we will upgrade the trade port and oh let's go we won the war which means that the duchy of brabant is now ours let's freaking go bro let's freaking go so now we have a truce again of course but that's almost everything from lord agrenga we'll only really need these three um as well and then we'll need a lot from the frankish uh, from west frankia here if we call all our allies we should definitely have enough to destroy them so let's do that we'll go to war hopefully alba can join now yep they can that is perfect germany will join these guys cannot join, but we don't really care. And now we got Queen F. So or something. Let's go. Let's burn France to the ground. Oh, but we have to join someone else. Wait, what? Alba is at war with a Norwegian armies. Yeah, we'll, we'll help them as well to keep our relations good. She actually looks pretty decent for a 70 year old woman she doesn't have any sick or we don't have any. Oh, we do have infirm, by the way. Weak body. Juliana's not fit for much except waiting for death to claim her and even while we have that our health is still fine because we have all those boosts which is pretty nice anyways let's go to war oh they cannot join okay and let's freaking go let's actually wait a little bit until our allies arrive so they have what's it 7k armies there yeah inspiration strikes description what <laughs> okay so when my other allies arrive we'll defeat their armies we might actually need to hire some mercenaries to make sure that we actually win this because our other allies of alba are pretty busy doing their own thing um so let's hire these guys and let's hire these guys come on that should be enough right we have 3k then 4k and then with our allies come on another lifestyle point victory in a northern conquest let's go so that means that alba can now help us Hopefully, or are they in another war? Nope. Let's go. Oh, we get a Dutch cabinet. What does that do? Renown and piety. Now our health is fine, but if we get another sickness, then we're done. Then we are done for. So let's have our uh, physician on plague resistance. Can we get a better one? Nope. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, let's go. We get another lifestyle point. Know myself. I literally need two more. This one gives a health boost and this one gives a health boost. Come on, please. Please. If we get a sickness now, we're literally plagues everywhere in our country. Then, then we are dead and then our realm will split up again. Because our secession is just... Yeah, it will create the kingdom of Frisia. And I believe that when we get like... Is there another kingdom in our realm then? No, because we'll not have enough to get West Francia and also not Lut Lutheran. Okay, so that's a good thing. But that does mean that we'll lose like three of our counties again. I mean, it's not, it's not too much, but it's just annoying.
thing. Oh, let's go. We actually survived the plague, right? It's gone now. Is it? Is it gone? I believe it is. Let's go. Now we have another port level four, so we can upgrade all of this. And that's the war done. Let's freaking go. How did we survive this? Now we get the Duchy of Flanders as well with all its counties. And we even got some lands over here that we will give to one of our... Um, I mean, we could give it to someone. Let's just keep it in our realm for now. And when we get some more uh, stuff from France that we don't really have claims to, we'll form some sort of kingdom uh, with that. But look at our realm, the 11 freaking provinces. That is huge. Okay, let's have a look because we did get some more stuff. So we should rename our, our realm here. And we still have to get Luxembourg as well. But I kind of want to end the video here. We'll quickly change this name to something better, more fitting. We will call ourselves the kingdom of the netherlands beautiful we'll keep our flag still the same red white and blue the beautiful tricolor of the dutch now in the next video we will get back the duchy of luxembourg and we will also do some more stuff concerning our religion and our culture because we still have to reform to protestancy um if we want to keep it historical and we'll also want to expand the dutch culture and we might even want to invade england because at one point in our history we actually controlled england and the kingdom of the netherlands as well if you want to see that then definitely subscribe like if you want to see more and then i'll see you guys in the next one ciao Wing. might be a good idea to increase our relation oh but now we're we're ranking fourth in the world i totally forgot